Hello everyone and welcome to Network Labs. Today in this video, we will continue our service provider lab using Juniper routers. After completing Layer 3 VPN, let us now proceed with Layer 2 VPN for our second task. Here, we will deploy Layer 2 VPN via VPLS. VPLS is commonly deployed nowadays in service provider networks to implement Layer 2 VPN. For this task, the customer is requesting an end-to-end -end connection transparently between its sites without any routing protocol facing the service provider PE devices. The service provider will act like a switch where Ethernet frames come in and out on each side. As an example for our task, we will use VLAN 600 for CE2 sites. The link between CE2 switches should be in trunk mode. Once the configuration is complete, both sites should be able to reach each other using the network 10.10.10.0 slash 24 address. Let us go to PER2 and start the configuration. The first step is to configure the interface facing CE2 Site 1. Edit the physical interface facing CE2 Site 1. Enable VLAN tagging to support one or more tags. Set the interface to support different types of Ethernet encapsulations. Next, create logical or sub-interface for VLAN 600. Set the encapsulation to VLAN VPLS. Enter the sub-interface and set the VLAN ID. Use 600. Then set family to VPLS. The next step is to deploy a routing instance to generate the customer's MAC address table and associate the interface facing the customer. Create a routing instance. Then the instance type is VPLS. Next, bind the logical interface to the routing instance. Set the protocols to VPLS without tunnel services. Set the circuit ID for the VPLS routing instance. Last, specify the neighbor PE router's ID. In this example, the we have set up a tunnel between PER2 and PER5 only, but we can add new neighbor PE if desired. That is all for the VPLS configuration.
Commit the configuration. Go to PER5 and do the same configuration facing CE2 Site 2. Copy the configuration of the interface facing CE2 Site 1 and the routing instance in PER2. Edit the interface port. Then change the neighbor's PE address. Copy and paste the configuration to PER5. Commit the configuration. PER5 is done. Before we proceed on CE2 sites, let us conduct some validation in PER2 and PER5. In PER2, the VPLS connections is now up. The MAC address table is empty for now since CE2 sites are not yet configured. Now go to CE2 Site 1 and configure the assigned VLAN and IP address. Create VLAN 600. Next, create interface VLAN 600. Assign the IP address to interface VLAN 600. Enable the interface. Enter the interface facing PER2. Set encapsulation protocol to dot one q Then set the interface to trunk mode. Lastly, allow VLAN 600. Save the configuration and proceed to CE2 Site 2. Create VLAN 600 and the assigned IP address. Then configure the interface facing PER5. Verify then save the configuration. Check the MAC address of each VLAN interface on both CE2 sites for validation on the PE routers. We are done with CE2 sites. Conduct ping testing if the VPLS is now working. CE2, Site 1 can now ping Site 2. CE2, Site 2 can also ping Site 1. In PER2, the MAC address of both CE2 sites are now learned and installed in its MAC address table for the VPLS. With this, we have successfully completed task 2 by deploying layer 2 VPN via VPLS. I hope that this is informative to you and thank you for watching.